In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly make edits to an existing part, even if that part didn't come from Fusion 360. We'll be talking about removing embosses, getting rid of bad text, fixing fillets, making angle changes. Here we go. Hey, Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. Um, we'll start by uploading that file. We'll select it. I have what's called a step file. And this is a neutral file, and this could be exported from any number of systems. It might come from SolidWorks, might come from Inventor. We hit upload, and it's going to do a cloud translation. Sometimes this can take a little bit of time. It'll show up in our data panel. It shows up. I'll double click. It opens. Now what we want to do is make some design changes without having to start over, as well as without having any kind of a history tree. There's no timeline. And there is a setting up in your preferences. Under design, you'll notice you've got capture, design history, do not capture, or prompt. I'm going to set it up to design capture. I usually want that timeline working. If you right click on the file name, you'll notice you have the ability to toggle this on and off to go from direct into capture design history. I'd like to capture it. And what I notice is there's no features except for this base feature. And that's just the import of the kind of solid geometry. So first things I want to start doing is I'd like to remove this emboss or this cutout for that logo. So if I change my view, flip it around and what I want to do is try to highlight or select those faces and as long as I get all those faces selected so if we select everything hit delete on the keyboard and as long as I get those faces it will delete nice so that made quick work of that um, Next, if you have a series of fillets that you don't want, like this kind of messy fillet area, we can select these, select all of them together, it usually performs better, hit delete on the keyboard, it removes that, and now if I start a new fillet command, I can actually come around. Now I notice there's this little uh, cutout, this channel, so what I'd like to do is remove that, and what I'll do is you click and hold and find that face. Other face, hit delete on the keyboard, it fills it back in. And now if I start that fill it command, what's exciting is it's going to add a new feature to the timeline of a fill it there, but now it's fully editable. That fill it is editable, we can remove it, we can change its size. So it's kind of cool that as you add features, um, those are going to be editable. Um, what about when you find these little fillets, you know, like in these corners here, if you want to get rid of that, rather than having to go back and model that in, you just hit delete and now we can add a fillet or we can make changes. Okay, so if you come in, you can also get rid of any of these ribs that you don't want to without having to kind of come in and sketch out all the changes. So what we'll do is select those faces. Got them. And then also, it's a good idea, you can sometimes select the boundary face or a face that we want it to heal to, and it'll fix that. Now I'm at a corner, so you can notice that it's, it's kind of merging into that. So if we try again, and we do the other face on the back side, and see it heals to that nice and smooth. Now, now what about holes? You can just simply select it, hit delete, and then sketch a new one. You can also select faces. Okay, now what about stretching faces? One thing you can do is just simply select it, hit Q, and allow you to do an offset. Sometimes it's a good idea to do a brand new offset and add that dimension, and it's gonna add a brand new feature um, as if it's, you know, almost like it's ex extruding that same profile. Now, what about um, stretching this over? If I were to stretch this over, pull this out, that, that's great, that'll work fine. But the problem when I go over this uh, cutout or keyway, it's going to cover it up. 
and that's not what I want. So the other option, select the two faces, hit delete on the keyboard, and it fills that back in or resolves. All right, what about that move copy? If I do the S key and do the move copy, and we're gonna try to move faces, and what we'd like to do is just do an angular change to this emboss. So if I select everything and choose the rotate command around this axis, we're gonna kind of bring it over. Looks like I was missing a face. There we go. Make sure I get all the right faces. You can see there that got to make sure you get all the right faces that I was you know, I kind of failed to select. It's like I'm probably missing one there. And that brings up that message that you need to make sure you're getting the adjacent faces as well. Kind of similarly, um, what about moving some of these um, angled bosses at the end? Um, pretty easy if we just select one face and the other, and then use that same rotate command And what I'd like to do is maybe move it about this axis, this round axis here. And so we can, you know, start to rotate. Pretty amazing, very powerful. It's, it's still grabbing the other filleted edges for us too, including those. And what if I wanted to align this rib or this, what if I want to align this rib to this hole, kind of similar what we just did, select the face and the other and rotate those. The axis, run that at. So now we can align that rib to that hole. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, get notified with the daily tips.